Mr Speaker. Chris Bishop. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, Mr Tirakatane just said that the Wellington Town Belt is part and parcel of Wellington. Well, I'd actually go further than that, sir. He's right, of course. It is part and parcel of Wellington. But actually, it's hard to imagine Wellington, the great city of Wellington, without the Town Belt. It's actually hard to envisage this fantastic city uh, with all of the things that make it so great. It's hard to imagine Wellington without uh, that town belt that's so, been so eloquently described by my colleagues uh, actually across the House, uh, not only on my side of the House, but across the House uh, in the debate this evening. It is a taonga of Wellington. It is a treasure of Wellington. It is a something to be admired and to be retained and to treasure uh, in this great city. So it is part and parcel of Wellington, but actually, as I say, sir, it's hard to imagine Wellington without the town belt. I, I take a great deal of interest in the town belt. I've walked there, I've tramped in it, I've ex experienced the outdoors in it, uh, and actually you know, most Wellingtonians probably when they think about it, uh, over the years they've been Wellingtonians, will have experienced the town belt uh, and probably haven't ever turned their mind to uh, its legal status, they haven't turned their mind to how it exists uh, in a legal form, uh, who manages it, who operates it. Uh, they probably haven't even thought about that. They just take it for granted because the, uh, the forefathers of Wellington uh, had the vision and the foresight to set aside green spaces for Wellington and for mothers as well. Thank you, Ms Delahunty. Um, and I do just want to pick up on a comment that Jan Logie said. She said green places are important. But it was a sort of classic Green Party speech. You know, The Greens have this uh, odd idea that they have a monopoly on ecolo ecological wisdom that they have a monopoly on uh, environmental protection, that, that only the Green Party are the, are, the, are the party in Parliament that can stand up for the environment, that, that only they care about uh, fresh water, only they, only they care about, uh, about clean rivers and lakes, and only they care about climate emissions and things like that. And so we hear this sanctimonious uh, drivel uh, often. But actually, all parties in the Parliament care about green spaces. Uh, the National Party certainly cares about setting aside uh, particular parts of our, uh, our land mass our, and our country that can't be developed. And actually, it's been a great week for that concept because this was the week that the government introduced and put through the first reading the Kermadec Sanctuary Bill. So this is a great week, uh, sir, for the environment, a great week uh, for conservation and a great week for the idea and the concept uh, there are, that there are some things so sacred uh, that they should be set aside for future generations to enjoy uh, later on. That concept of preserving things for future generations, that highly actually conservative uh, concept, uh, and indeed we are a conservative party, along with being a Liberal party. So it's been a great week for that, sir. I want to pay tribute to the Local Government and Environment Select Committee for the uh, important work they've done on this bill at Select Committee, chaired by uh, Scott Simpson. He's done a great job. I also want to say uh, that Grant Robertson uh, has done a good job in shepherding this bill uh, through to its second reading stage uh, in the House. Uh, sir, I just want to make two points about the importance of this bill. Firstly, it actually strengthens the protection for the Wellington Town Belt because, actually, interestingly, its, its, its current status is, is it's recognised or, is, or is managed by the Wellington City Council under a trust deed. Actually, a sort of odd sort of legal quirk, I guess you could say, but uh, that's the way it has been and, that, and that's uh, what happened back in 1873. So actually, putting this into legislation as a local uh, act uh, will uh, strengthen in some ways, or at least give uh, the Wellington Town Belt the imprimatur of uh, greater legitimacy and greater legislative protection. I think that's important. And the second thing, sir, is as my good colleague uh, Brett Hudson has pointed out, we don't get any Ginsu steak knives out of this uh, bill, but we do get another 130 hectares of reserve and open space land added to the Wellington um, Town Belt, sir. Just finally, sir, in terms of the Public Works Act, we've heard some discussion and we just heard some comments from Jan Loki about uh, the Public Works Act. So I, I agree with the, uh, select the amendments that have been uh, made to uh, the bill by the, the Local Government and Environment Select Committee. I think they, they are sensible amendments. I, I've got to say, I, I've read the Labor Party minority view uh, on the, uh, uh, in the Select Committee report. I think they make a plausible case. I think I can, I, I can sort of see where they're coming from, but I, I actually think where the majority got to on the committee was the right approach, which is to uh, bring 
uh, this local or will become a local act bring it into line with the provisions of the Public Works Act. I think that seems sensible, uh, sir, and so uh, I, don't, um, I, don't see, I don't really see the case. I, I can understand where Labor's coming from in its minority report, but I think really uh, the ma majority of the select committee members came uh, to the right judgment. Sir, the Wellington Town Belt is uh, something uh, that's very important that we recognise in Wellington. Uh, it's something that, as I, say, uh, early, as I said earlier, uh, many Wellingtonians would not even realise is actually called the town belt because it's just uh, inherent uh, in what makes Wellington this fantastic uh, city uh, and region uh, that it is. Uh, and, sir, uh, it's, I think, a, a good bill and I think, I think one that will receive widespread support from the House. With that, I commend the bill to the House.